In this video, I'm going to quickly take you through the Kakurasu puzzle feature of the puzzle generator. Now, the first thing you want to do is have a blank slide here. So if you do have any uh, text boxes or placeholders, make sure you delete them. And then we're going to make sure we're on the puzzle generator tab here. And then we're going to choose our trim size. So for this example, I'm going to do 8.5 by 11. And then once you've chosen your trim size, go to Puzzles, and then Kakarasu. And now our first screen here is our game exclamation or our how to play. This is a brief text description of how to play the game or puzzle. You can edit the text and delete the text if you want by clicking in here and typing or deleting. And then if you want to include the explanation, tick the box here. If you don't, leave it blank and then click continue. Now our first option at the top here is our color picker tool. And our first option with the color picker tool is to set our header font color. Now if you're creating for KDP, it's um, likely you want to have this on a black or a shade of gray. I'm gonna stick with black as the default color. And our next option here is our field cells color. So that's the color of the cells in the solution grids. Again, if you're creating for KDP, it's likely you'll want this to be a black or a gray. I'm gonna leave it as the default black color. Our next option we have here is to set our header font. Now here you can select from all of the fonts you have installed in Office, or if you've added any additional ones in the export tool. You can choose the size and also the styling. Our next option here is to choose the grid title. Now what the grid title is, is a title that appears above every single puzzle or grid. So for example, it'll be grid one, grid two, grid three, grid um, four, five, six, and so on. You can of course Translate this, you can um, put the puzzle name Kakarasu there. It's completely up to you or leave it blank. Our next option here is to start the numbering out. Now, typically in most circumstances, you'd want to have this at one, but say for example, you created 20 puzzles and then decided you wanted to create another 20. What you could do is start this at 21 that way your puzzles and your solutions would all match up and run through one to 40 correctly. Our next option here is our grid dimensions. Now, the larger the grid, the more difficult the puzzle and the slightly longer it will take to generate. So for this example, I'm just gonna do a four by four grid our next option is our grids by page. So this is how many puzzles do you want per page? And then you'll also get an equal amount of solutions per page as well. So if you do two grids per page, you'll get two solutions, four grids, four solutions, and six grid, six solutions. In this example, I'm gonna choose six. Our next option here is our page number. This is how many pages worth of puzzles do you want to create? So for this example, I'm gonna do five. Our next option here is to hide titles. Now, where this might come in useful, we'll go over a little bit later on, so we're just gonna skip this option for now. And then our final option, which is particularly useful if you're creating for KDP, is to add a left and right margin. Now, you can choose between zero and one, Typically, I do uh, 0.75. Now we have our settings. We're gonna click OK to create our puzzles. And there we have our Kakarasu puzzles. You can see our puzzles and then at the end, our solutions. 
Now, once you've created your puzzles, you do have a bit more flexibility regarding the formatting of them. For example, if you decided, actually, I want these grids to go in a little bit further, you can select all these shapes here, so the titles and the grids, put in a distance here, let's say 0.3, and then you can choose to move them up, down, left, or to the right. If I go to the right, and then if I do the same here, but to the left, and then you'll see this applies this all the way through our puzzles, including our solutions as well. So you only need to make the changes on one page. And then the final um, additional formatting option you might find useful is to change individual fonts. So for example, you've generated your puzzles and you think actually, I want the titles to be a little bit, a little bit bigger. What you can do is select them and then click change individual fonts here and then you can choose a color, a different font, a size, so let's go up to 26 and then you also got different styling and alignment options as well. Click OK and again this applies your formatting changes all the way through your puzzles including your solutions as well. Now, what I want to show you is how you can have a custom amount of puzzles or solutions um, on each slide. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to delete all of these slides here, and then we want to tap to add a blank first slide. We want to delete our placeholders here, and then we want to choose a square trim size here. So I'm going to go for 8.5 by 8.5 and then we go puzzles, kakarasu and then continue and then what we want to do here is we want to hide our titles, we want to remove our left and right margins. I'm going to do, let's do 6 by 6 and then we want to have one grid by page. And then I'm going to create 40 puzzles. Now once you've done this and you're happy with your settings, click OK. And now our uh, puzzles are generated. What we want to do here is up the top, click export slides as PNG. And then first we're gonna do our puzzles. So we're gonna do one, two, 40, put puzzles in here. Keep the quality and resolution the same. And then we're going to create a new folder here. And inside that new folder, create a folder and call it puzzles and then we're going to click OK to export them to there and then next we are going to export our solution so again export slides as PNG and then we're going to choose from slides 41 onwards solution again same quality resolution click OK and then we're going to go to that folder we just made and then here add a folder called solutions click OK again now our puzzles are exported what we're going to do we're going to delete all these slides here and then we're going to tap to add a first slide and then we're going to delete these placeholders here and then at the top, we're going to choose a trim size. So this is the trim size you want your KDP book to be. For example, 8.5 by 11 is what I'm going to choose. And then once we have this here, we're going to click bulk import images. 
And then if you make sure you're in the folder you created earlier, and then first of all, we're going to select our puzzles. Now, as you notice here, this tool gives you a lot more options to how many images or puzzles you want to have per slide, from one all the way up to 20. So for this example, I'm going to do eight. Now here you can add a title above each image. So if you remember in the Kakarasu settings, I hid the title. This is because here I can insert a title above each image and it will remain a editable text box, which means then if I want to make it larger, change the formatting, etc., I can. So I'm just going to put puzzle in here like so. Now down the bottom, I have the option to set minimum margins and spacing. I typically just leave this on the default setting and then tick the box here to attempt to optimize spacing. This is because this tends to be the best way to get the puzzles tightly knit together. So that's what I stick to. So once you're happy with your settings here, click OK. And then as you can see here, I've got my I've got my eight puzzles per slide. And then once we've done that, what we want to do is go to bulk import images again. This time choosing our solutions folder, click OK. Now here again, you do not need to select the same amount of uh, puzzles that you imported earlier. You can do anything from one to 20. I'm going to show you 20 in this example. And then I'm going to change this to solution. Again, keeping all the other settings exactly the same and then clicking OK. And then as you can see, I've got my 20 solutions per page and I have my eight Kakarasu puzzles per page. Now, I hope this quick overview of the Kakarasu feature of the puzzle generator helps you get started. Thanks for watching.